Hey, it's Louisa again from thepewterpalace.com. Thought I would share with you today a little bit about how we organize the back of our truck uh, in anticipation of full-time RV living. And uh, you know, this becomes your basement, your attic, and your 100% storage space, especially if you own an Avion where you don't have a lot of storage space on those under bays like the uh, modern you know, motorhomes and things do. So one of the things we did was early on is we figured out with these types of storage boxes, which we got I think at Lowe's or Home Depot, um, they are stackable and because of the fact that the top one sticks inside here, you don't get a lot of shifting around. They stay very secure once they're um, packed in. We figured we can fit 10 of those. Um, do we use all 10? No, we don't because we have odd things like our fire bowl or like our grill container, which is a larger one to be able to fit that in there. So we don't 100% use all of them, but we could if we needed to. So the other thing we did was we created a floor plan based on what things do we go to the most versus what things kind of go into deep storage per se back here. And you can see things like our Avion repairs. Hopefully we don't need to use those too often. Rivets, things like that. And then our next one is our Hensley Hitch. Again, spare parts. Anderson leveler spare parts. Uh, and then on the other side, our Viair, um, our 12-volt uh, vacuum bungees, kind of those miscellaneous types of things. Our rug is up on top there. Easy to get. Once these are stacked in, um, our second row becomes things that we use very frequently and those typically will come out and, uh, and we'll use them. Something else I want to point out to you is on the end of each box, to make it easier for both of us to find things is we've itemized basically the general things that are in here and some of the specifics. And this is a little code that I have created that shows the trailer, rear of the trailer, uh, rear of the truck, I mean, excuse me, hitch, rear wheels, doors coming open here. And this shows the position of this box so that we make sure that it goes back in the same place every single time. And you can see on the ones that we have already stacked in, you can see their little maps. That one's in the right place. That one's in the center back. And that one's on the on the driver's side. It's a good way to make sure that there's consistency um, because for those of you who full-time or plan on full-timing, one of the key elements that everyone preaches about is everything in its place and everything gets put back where it belongs because otherwise, you know, you have like bedlam in, in your trailer and in your RV and in your truck. The other thing we installed uh, right away when we got this truck was the deck system. And this creates a storage area and of course it also has you know the the beer bottle opener of course we wouldn't be without that this creates a storage place for all of the necessary tools and quick to need to get to items very quickly kevin doesn't have to go rummaging through storage boxes it's all right here including you know lotions and potions for the vehicle and then all the tools and things like that that we would need for the vehicle or for the um the trailer something we found when we installed this deck system is that we actually gained appreciable space you may think you lose space but because this rides these also open to keep uh, some like flares and things like that in um you can see there ammo can storages yep um we actually gain space because the deck system comes above the wheel wells. So now instead of having to fight stuff around the wheel wells, you actually go right over top of them, creating actually more usable space. Now we have an extended cab on our truck, which we would not be able to do without. I, I, give, I give total kudos to people who have just the flat, uh, you know, uh, truck cover, type of thing yeah we have that on our other on our other truck like that I give at the tonneau cover I give major kudos to anybody who can actually full-time and still manage to just do that we never could do that um, so this is how we manage our storage hope this helps a little bit the deck system is not cheap 
but it is super well built. We've also used this as a bed before when we've been traveling without the trailer and needed just a quick overnight. We've thrown um, an air mattress in here and slept in here super comfortably because we have 12 volt lighting in the back here and stuff too, so that helps. But um, still, great way to keep your storage in line and um, hope this helps you out. Let us know if you use this tip. Let us know if you like this video or if you don't, give us a thumbs down. But please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the pewterpalace.com um, and our YouTube channel, YouTube forward slash pewterpalace. Thanks and have a great day.